Well, some of the support from above is Wichita and Sedgwick County firefighters battle a major wildfire in the northeast side of the city today. Those flames driven by the record breaking temperatures, dry grass and windy conditions. Welcome into 12 News at 10. I'm Michael Schwank and I'm Rachel Hackbarth. We do have Team 12 coverage tonight. Dylan Doming is live at the scene of that fire. Julia Daughtry talked to those who live and work in that area and Chief Meteorologist Ross Jansen with a look at the conditions firefighters face today and as storms roll through the state. We do want to begin live with Dylan at the scene of the fire. Dylan, what is the latest? Yeah, that grass fire was estimated to cover about 300 acres in northeast Wichita this afternoon. Now, crews do remain out here at this time. They will be here until tomorrow morning, just monitoring hot spots to make sure they don't flare back up. We were told that one abandoned structure was lost in this fire, but otherwise fire crews really worked quickly to help protect the surrounding businesses and neighborhoods in this area because this is a very busy area right outside the Stryker Sports Complex between Webb and Greenwich. We do have some great video of the response this afternoon to show you. It was about 60 firefighters from multiple agencies that helped respond and slow this fire down. And that mutual aid came from both the ground and the air. An air tanker was deployed from Hutchinson to drop water from above, which fire officials tell us is a very rare call they have to make, especially here in Sedgwick County. But today was one of those days it was needed. It took about an hour to stop the fire from progressing north. A big reason for that, as you all said at the top of the show, the wind blowing all the flames further north. All the fine fuel, fuels are pretty much completely cured, meaning they'll, they'll ignite readily. And when you have those fuels that can ignite readily uh, in conjunction with above normal temperatures, high wind and low humidity, it, uh, it combines to make for a, a, a pretty volatile situation as far as wildfire is concerned. Now, we don't have the official cause of the fire just yet. We don't have the official cause of the fire just yet, but we do know where the fire may have originated from. It's right outside the Stryker Sports Complex, outside the parking lot next to the soccer fields. We'll show you the area. It's an area filled with mulch, dry grass, even some trash in this area. There's still even a little bit of smoke actually coming up from this area at this time. Uh, now, we were told that this was a hot spot that just kept flaring back up. We saw some flames, saw some smoke, and you can see with the wind, it just kept pushing it north to that field behind me. That field is where crews remain at this time. They remain there tonight. They would be back there uh, into the morning as well. Now, fire crews did come in, spray this area around 530. But again, this is an area they're still monitoring at this time. We do have a traffic alert for you as well. We told you earlier in the day that the intersection between Greenwich and East 29th Street was closed. It remains closed at this time and will likely be that case until the fire crews wrap up here as well. One positive though, the rain, the much needed rain we got here tonight probably will help these hot spots out here. Reporting in Wichita, Dylan Doming, 12 News. Dylan, thank you. While the scene is much different tonight, smoke and flames filled the air near 29th and Greenwich this afternoon and concerns grew for those who live and work in that area. 12 News reporter Julia Daughtry was there. She continues our team coverage tonight. As Dylan stated, the fire has covered 300 acres and when I arrived on the scene this afternoon, streets were already being blocked off and as the fire went on, a number of businesses decided to evacuate. Sydney's pet resort and spa was one of them alerting, alerting pet owners to pick up their pets around four today. I spoke with one pet owner about the fire being so close to his dog. I was a little surprised and I wanted to check the news immediately to see what was going on. Um, so yeah, I'm glad it uh, seems like it's going that way and keeping uh, away from the people around here, but uh, glad they notified us and I was able to pick up my dog. Now this fire is 30% contained. Fire crews say they'll be out tonight going into the morning until that fire is fully put out. Rachel.